let's continue talking about uh, tables and in particular uh, talking about manipulating the text inside the table. Um, you can see here uh, from the last video that we have some text in our, our table and uh, to manipulate the text we can either highlight one at a time and sometimes a little bit tricky there there you go well highlighting just the text in a table like I did right there or we can, in the case of this situation, I want to change all of this text at the same time. And so instead of manipulating these one by one, I can simply, with my type tool, click and drag and highlight the entire row or as many rows uh, as we want. We could do the entire table if it was all filled in with text already. So, um, uh, a couple of different ways to do that. We um, mentioned before, um, we can come over to our table uh, little tab, which uh, may very well be visible over here on the right side already. If not, of course, we can go up under window and we can access um, our dialog boxes for the tables, etc. Okay. And um, so uh, let's take a, a, a little bit closer look at this. Again, I have gone ahead and highlighted the entire row um, of the text. And um, I can come in and right here, we can manipulate um, where the text is inside of the cell. Now in my case, I'd like it uh, first to be a little bit bigger. And I'd like it a little bit higher in the corner, in the upper left-hand corner. So let's see, um, we've got it highlighted. And I'm going to come up here and uh, let's say make it uh, 18 point. As a matter of fact, just to make it a little bit easier for us to see, I'm going to do 30 point. So there we have uh, some nice big numbers. Now for me, um, they are too low in the middle of the box. And in the case of the first one here, it's further over than the others. So I want to get rid of those inconsistencies and get it where I want to. So going back over here to the table, the first thing we have is look at what we, we have going on here. We can have the text um, aligned at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom of the, uh, the, the cell. Remember, each one of these little squares is a cell. And then um, we can manipulate the text. You can even change the direction of the text, as you can see right here. Okay, And then we can come in and specifically manipulate it uh, up and down and to the left and right. So again, look at these little uh, pictures, and they're going to indicate to you um, uh, what what they do and we can either right here you're probably used to looking at this little locking device throughout the Adobe programs make all four settings the same if we lock it together so right here it's a quarter inch all the way around but in my case I want it to be different uh, a little bit different so I would come over here and click this and unlock it Okay, so from the top, as you can see, they're sort of in the middle. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say, mm, you know, uh, I'm going to put, um, uh, let's see, uh, a tenth of an inch. I'm going to put one tenth of an inch from the top. And from the left side, I'm going to put a tenth of an inch again. Put my little cursor there to uh, to blink. And let's see what happens. And you can see, there it is. Um, and I hit my return key. 
And there you see my numbers have all moved more or less to the upper left-hand corner um, of the uh, of the the cell, and uh, you can have them there or to the right or to the bottom. It depends on what you want to do. Now, um, the uh, and of course we can uh, also highlight them, and we can change the color um, of the text. And remember, either we can do it from here, the little table um, uh, uh, tab, or um, you could have gone up here to table in the main menu, and maybe you feel more comfortable. I, I like doing it with this tool. Simply come to cell options and bring it up here. Okay. And so here is um, another way, as you can see. Um, left and right, up and down, the top alignment, um, always turn on the preview button, okay? And so we have uh, plenty of options um, here as well, okay? And uh, the next thing that I want to mention, it's really just a preview of the upcoming uh, or the next video is um, in the calendar that I do every uh, year for my community, um, you know, putting the numbers in the table it can be um, actually add more work. Um, yes, I would absolutely use the table uh, to set up the lines and the grid for the style of my um, calendar, and of course put that on a master page so that you can immediately apply it to all the individual pages of your document as I've done here. But as far as dropping in the numbers, you know, if you look at any calendar, the first of the month on January, let's say, might be on a Monday. And then in February, it's uh, uh, the first of the month is on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And so where the numbers need to go for the days of the week for each month varies, always varies. And so if we put the numbers themselves in the table like we did here, then you're going to have to one by one come in here and manipulate every single day of all 12 months. And uh, uh, that could really be time consuming and I find that very awkward. Um, so uh, my suggestion is that you not put the numbers in the table. But in fact, as we're going to look at in the next video, you do the table again for the grid and the lines, etc. And then on top of that, on a probably a different layer, certainly I would do it on a different layer, I would put a text box and use um, the tab setup, which is something you must know for professional um, development of, of documents, of how to line things up properly. And as I'm going to show you, it's actually going to be a lot easier and faster to manipulate and move the days of each week for each month around and get them in the proper place much quicker and much more efficiently than putting a separate number in each cell block of your table. Okay? And uh, let's stop it here and uh, we'll pick up on that subject here in the next uh, video and we'll talk about how to use the tab function.